today we're going to do the Breville Pro versus the Sir Le Tab uh, with Equator Coffee. You can see side by side. So right now you can see this is at a level grind size 11. And we're going to do 11 on both of them. You can kind of see it coming through. Now I'll go to the Sir Le Tab. And you can see right here, grind size, 11, thing. I'm just going to tamp the one for the Breville. Right. Quick. Tamp. You can see that. Just kind of brush that off. Put that in the machine. All right. You can see Equator Coffee above. Pulled the grinds out of the other one. Sort of the tab. And I'm going to do a tamper on that one. So now they're both at grind size 11. You know, I found that different beans definitely have different flavor. Um, there's one I did yesterday that was a gift to me and really nice gift because it's expensive espresso. But what we would call sour is bright in the coffee language. So I have some brighter tasting espresso, but this one's a little deeper, a little richer, kind of a burnt toast style um i'm gonna put the surly tab one in i'm gonna set up my mugs and then you can watch these guys come out of here and both of them you'll see the crema that is created all right so let's go breville here we go right now it's gonna start a double shot you're going to watch this come out, and you can see that I'm going to let you listen in the machine. Get an idea what the Breville Pro sounds like. You get an idea what the Sir the Tab sounds like. Cause I'm gonna start that one now, so you can see the difference in sound. Oops, didn't hold it down. Sorry about that. There you go. I have a good creme on that one. So let's go back to the Breville over here. You can see it's been sitting for a little bit. Maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds. But it's kind of flattening out. You can see the creme on there. We'll bring it right back to the cellular tab. You can see the crema as it's sitting, starting to settle. Beautiful crema though. All right, thank you so much for following.